I know there's a content warning or whatever on episode 13 of 13 Reasons Why 2, but nothing, absolutely nothing could have prepared me for the scene with Tyler and Montgomery in the bathroom. Not a spoiler, please read. Do not watch the bathroom scene in 13 Reasons Why season two, episode 13. It will literally mess you up. I promise you will be better off if you never see it. I really wish I could unsee it. There's a scene in episode 13 of season two of 13 Reasons Why that is very graphic, disturbing, and sickening. It involves Tyler and Montgomery in the school bathroom. Please skip it if you can. I still feel sick to my stomach after watching it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I found something worse. So sit back and here's the story about how I saw something worse than the 13 Reasons Why season two bathroom scene with Tyler. Yesterday, they were fumigating my house for bugs, you know, because bugs come out in the summer here in Las Vegas. So I got to stay with my beautiful girlfriend. And since I don't watch TV, she showed me this show on TLC called Skin Tight. And I was kind of interested. I'm a bigger guy and I've been exercising and working out and eating better and all that kind of stuff. And I was interested in what gastric bypass is like. But like most people who get gastric bypass when you're my size, one of my biggest concerns is loose skin. So on this show, Skin Tight, it's people after they've had gastric bypass or the gastric sleeve and they're getting a skin surgery. So I'm thinking, hey, maybe I should watch this just because if I ever get the surgery, I'm probably going to need the skin surgery to go along with it. So in this show, they go and consult with a doctor to get rid of this loose skin, and I'm sitting there watching it, and I get a little queasy when I see surgical stuff, and they start doing the procedure, they draw lines on them, and then they actually show cutting into these people, and I was just like, all right, this is a little rough. But then, then, after they start hacking away at this real person's body, not a fictional character, a real person's body, they take off the skin and they hold it up and show it to the camera, and I just couldn't handle it. I'm sitting there and I look towards my girlfriend. I'm like, can you believe this? Can you believe what's happening right now? And people are upset about Tyler's scene in the bathroom. Look at what is happening right now. It looked like they were holding up a, a fish that has just been sliced open and I was about to vomit. And for me, it was far worse than anything, anything that happened in 13 Reasons Why season two. What's up, everybody? So, yeah, I wanted to make this quick video just to talk a little bit about perspective and mental health. So if you're new here, first off, don't forget to subscribe, but perspective is something I've done videos on in the past, and perspective is one of the most fascinating things when it comes to mental health, because what you might see is something completely different than what somebody else might see. So with all of the backlash going on about 13 Reasons Why, there's some people who say it glamorizes or romanticizes mental illness and suicide, but there are other people who talk about how they can really relate to this show, and this show helps save their life, and they went out and they got the help that they need. So me, I wanted to give you this example because some of you, when I explained you know, what happened to me last night, you're like, what, what man, big deal. That's not, a, that's not uh, anything to be disgusted by because you're cool with it. But for me, that is very disturbing. It's far more disturbing than anything I saw in 13 Reasons Why. But perspective can greatly, greatly, greatly help you out with your mental health. When it comes to your depression, to your anxiety, a big one is anger issues because part of our default thinking is me, me, me. It's very hard for us to reach out and empathize and get another perspective and, oh, I kind of understand where this person's coming from. And when we're able to, to do that, we can have much more calm conversations, debates, if you will, without getting really upset and angry about the entire situation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with somebody if you think they're lacking in uh, a change of perspective or even being open to the idea that there are other perspectives besides their own, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you, yeah you, out with your mental health. Click that little round subscribe button. And if you need to get caught up, I have a whole 13 Reasons Why season two playlist right there, all right? Thanks again for watching. Keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.